Hello there, bestie. Happy Vlogtober. We are back to talk about a couple of scary movies tonight. Um, the first one is The Howling, which I should have talked to you about last night. And again, I'm sorry about that. But The Howling, such a good werewolf movie. I'm telling you, there are really not that many werewolf movies. And this is a great example of how a werewolf movie should be done to my mind. It stars Dee Wallace and it came out in 1981 and it centers around Dee Wallace's character. She is a television news reporter slash anchor back in the day when news anchors actually did reporting and stuff. So it, you, it was toward the end of that era though, for sure. And she is on the hunt uh, for a serial killer who has actually contacted her and is obsessed with her. And she is out trying to meet him and get some information about him. And he reveals himself to her and it traumatizes her and she cannot remember what happened. And she's completely shut down, okay? And so she goes to this place called The Colony, which is recommended by her psychiatrist. And from there, crazy werewolf shenanigans ensue. Now, there it's 1981, so all the effects are practical. There's a couple of times where absolutely you're like, okay, that's a really cool puppet. Um, but it is a very cool puppet. So, uh, and there's often times when you're just so mesmerized by the effects, you almost forget, hey, this is just a movie because it's mesmerizing. Um, the acting is great. The, uh, the story is compelling. It's just a really good, good movie. I highly, highly recommend it. I swear I'm trying so hard not to sneeze but I feel like it's gonna happen. So I'm sorry in advance if it does. I will not finish off and tell you what happens in the end, but um, I highly recommend if you can find The Howling that you get your eyes on that movie, okay? Now the movie that I watched today is the remake of The Evil Dead. And, oops. That movie, I actually really, really like it, okay? A lot of people have a problem with it being a remake of The Evil Dead. Like, The Evil Dead is some, I don't know, well-made, crafted movie that must never be touched. Like, it's, I don't know, E.T., the extraterrestrial or something. The Evil Dead is a fucking campy ass movie that I love. I love The Evil Dead, okay? But it's a campy movie made by a bunch of college kids who frankly, some have never moved on from that movie. And how... I'm sorry, I'm not even going to say what I'm thinking about that, okay? It's nice that you did a thing in college. And I know that that is, in the horror community, a very controversial opinion. But it's how I feel about it. The Evil Dead is great, and when it came out, I loved it. I really have a hard time rewatching it because it doesn't hold up. It's not a good movie. There, I said it. But the Evil Dead remake from 19 or from 2013 is actually really good. And um, it stars, what is this girl's name? I love her. Uh, Jane Levy, Levy, Levy. She, um, she used to be in a show called Suburgatory, which is where I originally know her from. Didn't last very long, but it was the cutest, most quirky, irreverent show. And I really loved it. But she's great in The Evil Dead. There is this part where she's talking to her brother. And she says, there's something in here with us. 
and I'm just like, oh my God, she's just so good. I love her in this movie. Everyone in this movie is actually really, really good. Um, <clears throat> in addition to Jane, uh, we have, I guess Bruce Campbell is in here too, but where is he in the movie? Uh, anyway, um, Jessica Lucas, Shiloh Fernandez, Lou Taylor, Poochie? I want to say Poochie, like, like Poochie, um, Prince, I guess? Um, Elizabeth Blackmore, Ellen Sandwies, Sandwies, and then some other odds and ends. Uh, it, they go to the cabin because uh, Jane's character, Mia, is addicted to drugs and they're trying to help her get off. And um, they go out there because it's their grandparents' cabin, maybe, or parents' cabin. And, um, sorry, no things. Um, so they go out to the cabin to try to help get her off drugs. And while they're there, they go down into the basement. And one of the dudes reads the book. Put down the fucking book. If a book is wrapped in some sort of un... Uh, recognizable or identifiable rather maybe is a better word um, substance and then completely locked shut with uh, barbed wire leave the fucking book closed hello but no dude opens the book and reads the book and from there everything's fucked Mia gets possessed and <clears throat> just like in the original evil dead you're not i i can't spoil it because if you've seen the original evil dead you've you've seen this one except this one's much more gory much better and um it does diverge it's not a shock for shock remake but all the girls get possessed just like in the original movie um but it 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 definitely does things a little more horror movie-ish. It does things a little more realistically where the uh, special effects are concerned. And it's it's just a really good movie. It's super freaky. It is just freaky. I mean, there are just so many moments where you're like, no, 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 no. Oh, so, so good. All right, so that's the two movies. I did not get to watch anything else today. I'm not going to try to watch anything else today. I'm going to figure out something to put on while I do another set of nails on Dolly. I did this set, but you can't really see what it's about because it's been filed but not top-coated yet. So if you want to see what that's about, you come by the channel tomorrow because that's tomorrow's video. But I want to do one more set of nails tonight before I hit the sack. So... I don't think I'm going to have time for another movie. So we will talk about what I watch tomorrow, tomorrow. And if there's anything interesting going on, we'll talk about that tomorrow as well. I don't know. Maybe we have a Jeffree Star or something to talk about. You know, one of the videos. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being a bestie. And if you're one of my subscribers, you know that you're my favorite. And I absolutely adore you. So thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video.